Welcome everybody, Coach's Corner. I'm Coach RJ. That's TJ <laughs> Sneegung. This is Jenny from the Block, and that is Big Mama. We are here to provide you fun, entertaining, exciting workouts in a family-like environment, and ultimately, we get results. 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 So, what I want to do is ask you, ladies. You, you're both very fit. Yeah, you look great. Uh, I know you work out as hard as you do, but we know that working out is part of the bigger picture. So I want to know what is a, a, a what does a day of eating look like to you, Jen Mancher? <laughs> this is it. So I have a I have an yeah I have a note on my fridge. First thing it says is no nuts. Okay. And no eating after nine. Okay, those are my two things. And then it says exactly what I'm supposed to have in a day according to my fitness pal, according to my goals of protein, fats, and carbs. Right now. The problem is, is sticking to it 100%, right? If I'm prepped and ready to go and I do all of this, I'm going to look like a goddamn fitness model at the end. But, but, you know, I have, an, I have an extra protein bar. I have an extra this. I have an extra that. You know, it all depends how serious you are. But every day I wake up and this is my goal again. You know what I mean? I'm never going to give up ever. And I'm always going to improve no matter what. Um, also supplements, depending on, how far I'm pushing and water, man. Like, you know, this is only my third one of these to me, that's low for this time Pretty of the low, day. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it's, I have to get that in. And, and that's a lot of times where it kind of sets me back a little bit. You got to get that water. in. so um, I would, uh, my advice is to write it down. And Michelle even says that put the pen to paper, write it down. And then it goes into your brain. Um, and it's right in front of me at the fridge. Okay, now so what I want you to do is list. I want to. I want you to list okay. everything. That's. Okay. I want to know exactly what you're eating. Okay, so I have proats that I've measured, obviously, and and did properly on my fitness belt. I can have one coffee, um, tempeh, which is a protein that I eat instead of meat, and I have rice and edamame. Is that what they're called? Edamame beans mm -hmm. with that, and a scoop and a half of protein with water. So that's like, and I also fast as well. The more I fast, the best results I get, right? So I try and fast the best I can. I usually fast about 16 hours, maybe 14 sometimes. And then for dinner, I'm sorry to say I have the tempeh dinner again, the protein again, but I have strawberries, two rice cakes with jam and a protein bar. So I have a lot of food that I can eat in a day, plus all the water, right, that we have. And... Um, you know, where the, the way I screw up is I go to the counter and I do this. I do this. I'm a grazer, right? So if I don't have these things in my house, it helps me stick to my goal. But regardless, I have a goal every day. There's got to so. be vegetables in there somewhere. You didn't really mention any vegetables. I didn't. And I didn't punch it in my fitness pal either. But I do have cut up cucumbers and snap peas in little baggies. You want to see it in the fridge? No, no, no. <laughs> snap Just peas, peas, cucumbers. Yeah, that's, that's, that's basically how Nair eats. So my recommendation to you would be to either A, pick up the green supplement because um, the, the food that no you're green. eating is very, very fit. Like it means it's for your physique, right? Like you're yeah. eating physique foods. So you're eating high protein, very clean carbohydrates. Like that's for your physique. But you also got to think about your internal, right? So people talk I about agree. visceral fat. And so you don't eat food that will compile visceral fat. So that's where you like, you haven't had any problems, but you would probably feel a lot better. Your skin would probably like feel amazing, right? Like if you started to put some like darker greens, a little bit more superfoods in you. Yeah. And uh, so if you're not a food eater, right, then I would tell you to, to try the greens. It's, it's sweet. So it's like an acquired taste, but try to find the greens that really work for you. Or you need to start mixing in with your, um, like your, your tempeh rice and everything, just like either kale or broccoli spinach. or spinach, something needs to go in there uh, okay. and it, in a higher volume. You wouldn't eat a lot because you're not eating a lot of processed foods that would create a lot of visceral problems, but you need something in there. Yeah, that's, you know, what? I didn't even think of that until I listed off and I'm like, oh yeah, you're right. I have no greens, no but do you, yeah. do you feel like the supplement greens, superfood greens or whatever, is that that's processed is it not it's no it's just broken down it's it's just it's basically refined um it's refined vegetables so i should and put that in a higher con shape. higher concentration it's like it's like the um tissue rejuvenator is 
it's got curcumin in it, right? So people are like, yeah, I eat turmeric all the time, right? But yeah. the turmeric, you would have to eat mountains of turmeric to get the same amount of curcumin as you would in a supplement versus like eating turmeric, right? So they have yeah. basically refined it and made it super potent. That's why if you have a cup of coffee versus taking a caffeine pill, right? Have you yeah. ever done the two? Like the no. caffeine pill is like, Rah! where's the cup of coffee? You can sit around and have a conversation. So it's like, it's a super condensed version of it. So if you're not a big eater, like, you know, like it sounds like what you're doing, you can, I, I think that you can easily just chop up some broccoli and just. Yeah, I'm totally going to do that. I'm going to write it in here. Thank yeah. you. Big Good mama. Idea. Hi. Uh, um, my problem, to be quite honest with you, is I don't eat enough. So you would think that I should be skinny, but it's actually reverse, right? You need to eat more in small amounts to help boost that metabolism and get your body going. I truly believe that your body is like a car. You have to put some fuel in it for in order for it to function. So my daily uh, routine consists of this. I get up, first thing I automatically do every night, I put a bottle of water next to my um, bed. First thing I get up, I down that water, just exactly what I do. Second thing I do, I'm not the proudest to say this, but I have a cup of coffee. I'm addicted to coffee. I don't know what it is, but I did substitute um, putting, uh, instead of sugar, I no longer put sugar. I actually put just a little bit of protein in my coffee to give me that, that sweetness. And then I always eat my lunch. I pre I meal prep my lunches all the time. So my lunches are usually considered um, protein, greens, and vegetables. I do put my vegetables in there. And then I, for a snack, I'll have, um, during the day at work, I'll have maybe a piece of fruit. And then at home, as soon as I get home, it's meal, which always consists of a little bit of carbs, protein, and vegetables, always a salad, uh, steamed broccoli, carrots, whatever it may be. But I always, always, always have a protein shake at home as well with my uh, scoop of greens that I actually do put in there because I do lack getting vegetables in my system. And the reason why, I can't eat broccoli, cauliflower, I'm not going to lie, I get gassy, okay? I, I can like fart all day and all night, and it's embarrassing, let's be honest, okay? I, I, especially I live with a guy that I've never yet farted in front of ever in three years, so um, it's nothing is more embarrassing than when you have to fart and you got to hold it in, your stomach hurts, you're like, this one's pregnant, and so I'll be honest, I don't, I, I really get my uh, veg veg vegetable substitution via greens, so very grateful for that. And it also in my protein shake, I put hemp hearts and um, chia, like I don't put the chia seeds. I actually have the chia seeds that are um, blended, I guess. So it's like, it looks like powder. It's really good. So I put chia seeds, hemp hearts and uh, flax seed in my protein with a scoop of protein and water. I use water in there. And my biggest thing that I have to say right now that's working for me is I literally cut alcohol out of my system cold turkey on since January 4th. And I've noticed a huge, huge, huge difference in my gut. I'm not as, um, I don't have that, those love handles anymore, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually kind of freezing here with less 15 pounds-ish kind of say, uh, it's cold. So I like to say in winter, I put on an extra 10 pounds to keep warm, but that's okay. That's what good jackets and, and uh, working out on the blue will do, keep me warm. So that's a day really in my life. My weakness would have to be chips. I suck at chips. So, so, so just from, from what you're telling me, the, what I would tell you is you're, you have a very balanced diet, but it, from just doing my fitness pal for the past 15 years, I would assess that you're under by about 1500 calories a day. And the reason why your weakness is chips is because chips are carbs. They are crunchy and they contain a lot of calories, right? The three C's. And so when you get to your breaking point and it's just like, it's just your body craves something quick, easy with high calories. And so on a day you're, you have, you're eating clean food, but I know that you're burning a lot of calories and you want to be in a deficit. But once you go past that 1000 caloric deficit, you become into deprivation mode. And that's when your body will immediately shut off and you'll just eat like, of, you know, the thousand calories back in chips. And so then all your gains will get lost. Now, what you need to do is you need to integrate what Jen loves nuts. So you need to measure out. And I would say that you could probably have up to 400 calories and you would probably lose weight. Right. So I would say that if you wait, just went on the scale and it's, it's literally like a bag and you'll see, and it's enough that it'll keep you fed. 
And those calories are going to be a longer source of energy. So you're not going to have big spikes, highs and lows. And it's going to get you closer to the, to the deficit that you should be in so that you don't have a breaking point and you're not eating that, the crunchy, high calorie carb foods. I am. Um, okay. That's, I love nuts to be honest with you. And so with that being said, is there any specific type of nuts that you would recommend? I just would- go with whatever you like. Uh, I mean, they do, they're, they're, they have variety and acidity. So like some nuts uh, contain more, like they bring you into a more acidic state, but you're, you're, you're not in an inflamed, your body is recovered. Like that would be for somebody that is eating and drinking chips. And, you know, then they have to worry about how acidic the foods are. Uh, people with indigestion issues, like then, yeah, you got to watch those numbers. But for you, I would just eat what you enjoy. Yeah. Like it. But you have to measure it and you want to be probably start at three, 300, and then work your way up to four. Grams. Yeah. No, no, no. Calories. So you'd have to, you'd have to put them in a bag. You'd have to put them on a scale and weigh them. And then you'd have to look up my fitness pal. So if it's like cashews, you're going to see how many grams of cashews equals 300 calories. Okay. And then you just weigh that out on the scale. Okay. Or just put it in my fitness pal, scan the barcode and then. That's right. So for me, I'll keep it simple. I get up at five in the morning and I have anywhere from three to four teas. And uh, then I go into my coach's shake. My coach's shake is decaf coffee because I don't do well with coffee. I use peanut butter, the good stuff. I put um, a scoop of protein powder and water. And then I actually put in like salt, like just Mm -hmm. little granular salts after I've blended it. And I put uh, the stevia, crystallized stevia. So like not the real organic stuff, but just for having substance when I do it, when I eat, then I'll have a big meal and it's 50, 50. So for instance, the other day we did like pasta. So extra lean ground beef, nary drains out the fat and then like loaded with vegetables, pasta sauce. So that's half my plate. So if you're looking at half my plate here, boom, this half over here is, is that right. So I'll probably put down 500 grams of, of lean whatever it could be, could be like 10 ounces of chicken. And then on this side over here is a hundred percent greens. And when I have my greens, I got to have my sauce. So I like putting kale salad sauce or I'll put ranch. Like I'll put a, a little bit of it on there just to have the flavor, but I can never have just vegetables. Like it's just not how I do it. And then after that, I'll have my green shake and I'll add protein. And then uh, I'll have another coach's shake. So I don't eat big, like I have one big meal and then we, we do the virtual. I get home, I have one big meal, and then I'm done. So I only eat twice. Now, I know that I'm under calories Monday through Friday. And so that gives me a blanket for Saturday where I like to add those calories. Now, when I add those calories back, depends on like what Jen said is on my goal. So if it's summertime, it's not going to be the stuff that I'm eating on the weekend on Saturdays, right? It's going to be something a lot cleaner, but it'd be more like, uh, you know, three or four Nary's bars on a Saturday. Whereas maybe when I don't have a goal, it's going to be like going out for pizza, uh, burger, fries, or pizza or something like that. So uh, I keep mine super simple Monday through Friday. I feel like we're uh, problem solvers. And so when you're a problem solver, if you're trying to solve the problem of eating and you already struggle with that, then that's just another problem you need to solve on a daily basis. So for me, it's simple, lean, lean protein, vegetables, shake, 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 Another lean protein, vegetables. I'll, ha- I'll throw in some, some ice cream or something. Uh, f- I give myself about 500 calories when I'm not like dieting of like free base calories. That could be like nibs or whatever it is. And that's it. Super simple. Hmm. All right, ladies. So thank you for giving us insight into the day in the life of Big Mama and Jenny from the block of eating. We hope this really helps you. And if you did like this, throw us a like. And we want to know, uh, what is the one meal a day that you look forward to the most? So put that in the comments. What is the mm. one meal a day that you look forward to the most? And we'll see you on the blue, on the blue for real. Woo!